Their theory doesn't start with the neurons, but with what's inside them. This brings us to the main event, a theory called Orchestrated Objective Reduction, or ORC-OR for short. It was cooked up in the 1990s by two brilliant minds, Sir Roger Penrose, a Nobel Prize winning physicist, and Dr. Stuart Hameroff, an anesthesiologist. Together, they built the most detailed and long-lasting quantum theory of consciousness. Their theory doesn't start with the neurons, but with what's inside them. Your brain cells are filled with a microscopic network of protein tubes called microtubules. Hameroff, from his work studying how anesthesia makes people lose consciousness, started to think these tubes were way more than just cell scaffolding. He proposed they were actually tiny quantum processors. According to Ork OR, electrons inside the proteins of these microtubules can enter a state of quantum superposition, basically acting like quantum bits, or qubits, these quantum vibrations are kept safe and sound, or orchestrated, by the brain's biology, shielded from the noisy chaos of the cell, long enough to do some serious computing. But where does the feeling, the experience, come from? This is where Penrose's mind-bending physics comes in. He argued that when this quantum state collapses, it isn't random, and it isn't caused by someone looking at it. He proposed it's a real, physical process he calls objective reduction. 